I am Magnus Walker, top of the morning tier. One of my favorite things is to get some fresh sticky rubber mounted on one of my favorite cars. So I called my buddy Ross down at Pirelli, got some Trofeo wires on order, and then went down there to P0 World to get them mounted and balanced. Now things didn't necessarily go according to plan. We had a few challenges on the way and we dealt with a few issues. So stay tuned and see how it all turned out. So here Mario is showing us how to dismount the old tire and mount the new Pirelli Trofeo R. So stay tuned and we'll see how it goes from here. So what are you doing here Mario? Right now I'm setting the tire on the balance machine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the whole force and spinning right now. Okay. They're asking me if I already checked the air pressure to see I already did. And it's gonna say okay. Okay. And it's gonna start automatic spinning. Then I put on the roll force. Roll force mm -hmm. meaning uh, put pressure on the tire to, it's like to mimic the strip, okay. strip to sit the bits properly okay. on the wheel. Now, I'm gonna clean the surface. Okay. Why are you cleaning the surface? Because there has to be like remove all the dirt and the okay. weights to make sure the weight the weight will stick the to the sur okay. How do you know where to balance uh, the wheel? Because they're asking me for 1.75 ohms. It's okay. Gonna be the one we're gonna add to the wheel right here. Is that a lot of weight to add to the no. wheel? No, to this kind of wheel, that's a three piece, and the yeah. wheel is like they got some uh, plus. Okay. They put together, so the wheel is not brand new, it's back in the maybe 80s. Yeah, I understand. And that's why sometimes they're asking for more, so asking for less. Where do you know exactly where to put the weight? Okay, because this one, they, this machine is very sophisticated. They got lasers. Okay. You can see the line over here. Yeah. That's, that's the laser. So that's going to show you exactly it's, it's show me where the to center. put the weight. Yeah, okay. the center. And that's a self-adhesive weight? Yes. Got it. This one is like stick it. Okay. Let's put it right there. Got it. Very, very and then cool. I'm gonna close the hook again. Okay. And then I'm you're gonna, gonna spin ask it. Me again for the same. If I check the air a little bit, it's gonna start automatic. There's nothing worse than getting your fresh tires mounted and then you go drive and then you got front wheel shake. That's my most frustrating thing. Oh, yeah. This one's gonna be like. We, we won't be having that here, right? Yes. We're going to be fully, fully balanced. So the tires are mounted and balanced, and now we're putting the wheels on the car and getting ready to drop it on down. So as soon as the car hit the ground, it was obvious it looked awesome, but my gut was telling me I'm going to have an issue with that right rear tire rubbing on the inner fender. What are you one. talking that down to, Mario? too close to the edge, so... Stay tuned and see what happens next. So before I went for a test drive to see if the fender was going to cut the tire, we decided just to back the car up onto a ramp, see how it was under compression, and see if the tire was actually hitting the inner fender neck. And of course, yes it was. So this is the part where my thoughts became a reality. Before the car even came down to the ground, I knew in my heart that the tire was going to rub on the inner fender well. I'd swapped out for the exact same profile, the 265-35-18, but the Pirelli Trofeo R sidewall is different. It's taller and squarer to the tire that came off. So at this point, we had three choices. One was raise the car up all round, but that would essentially mean corner balance and realigning. Second was to take some backspace off the wheel, but that's time consuming. And the third and perhaps easiest solution was just to roll the fender lip. So that's what we decided to do. Most of you old school guys would just do that with a baseball bat, but not here at P0 World. As you can see, you just test a little bit of paper. I'm trying to get it past your yeah. tire and fender and it's not happening, it's ripping. So essentially, here's essentially. told us what the problem is. 
Well, the problem is those fenders, they have a square 90 degree edge inside. It's all squirrel. I mean, it's all Porsches had it, the old Mercedes had it and so forth. So we developed a tool in Germany that I had to pull back out of my um, archive to try to get these fenders rolled so your neutral Feo tires will clear under extreme circumstances. Cornering or, circumstances. Exactly. So as you can see right now, if you would go a bump, you would cut your tire with your yeah. sharp fender inside. So and you're going to show us the Schwabian way of rolling the inner fender lip the correct way so we don't have to use a baseball bat. Jawohl. Stay tuned. All is good, yeah? Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Tell me what you're doing now. Well, I'm attaching this fender rolling tool. Why is this better than a baseball bat? Because it's uh, mechanically controlled. Okay. And you can... Um, loosen or easen or tighten okay. um, the pressure on it and it's just more mechanical so Got to it. say i understand and it attaches to your hub so that's a porsche 5x130 volt, volt pattern got it as All you right. can see what let's you, get it on yeah. let's start rolling it <laughs> no pun intended yeah exactly <laughs> no pun intended yeah. so you just put it on the lug nuts yeah. you're going to tighten it down just like a wheel then we're going to roll it. Yeah. So, so look in here. Let's see what you got going. All right, I'm on it. Okay, there's nothing here right now. I'm going to... So you're going to move it up. You can move the lever. So this is fully, fully see, here adjustable. You fully adjustable. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just going to literally force this roll to come out to your fender, as you can see. Actually, it's a little bit better. Go a little bit more like this right now. You're gonna move that up. Yeah, I move that up a little bit. So now, you can look in here. This roll is literally going to hug your fender. See that? Yeah, I see. And now, I'm just gonna slowly but surely roll, roll this. For example, pay attention to this here. Right, you can see it really down. well. I'll bring it on and down. look what happens. See? Slowly, back and forth. So you just roll. I roll roll it. And then later on, we tighten it more. Okay. I mean, you do one at a time, otherwise you break your fender or you damage your fender. Little by little. But this is literally easy to do if you know what you're doing. And, and if you have the right tool. The right tool, which I, as I said. You are so German, my friend, so German. And, and I love to do this myself. You are so manly. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just, this is Porsche. I'm from Stuttgart. Of course, Stuttgart. Stuttgart. You have to be a Porsche guy from anyway, Stuttgart. So look here. I think I'm. I don't need to go here because but you might it's not go. rubbing. But I just go a little bit. See that? In case you need bigger tires next time. But see that? Can you take that lip a bit further down on that side? Just a little. This one? Yeah, just okay. a little. Just sheer manpower. So after we'd finished rolling the rear fender lip to avoid any issues, it turned out the front three-piece wheel was leaking air from the old cracked seal on the center barrel. So the problem we got here now, we got the tire on, but air is leaking through the wheel. It's a three-piece wheel, so obviously the center and the hub right where those... Um, right here, it needs to be re-siliconed, see that? is where it's leaking air. Always Badly, something. always something. Yeah. So the Big center where it attaches to the barrel is where it's leaking. You can hear it right there. Always something. Never a case of just bolting your new power rallies on and going. So we dismounted the tire, resealed the three-piece wheel where it was leaking at the center barrel, remounted the tire, rebalanced it, and put it back on the car. Then I was essentially good to go. So I want to give a big shout out to Ross at Pirelli USA, Klaus at P0 World, Mario for mounting and balancing the tires, and to everyone else for going the extra mile so I could get the fresh rubber on the car and do what I love to do, which is get out and drive. So I'm going to hit the open road. I'll see you guys on the other side.